if you're seeing this, then at least you still have the internet. Kate's giving is a thing Kate just made up. Hashtag. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Kate's Giving video. Kate's Giving, if you don't know, is something I'm doing throughout the month of November where I do videos that are inspired by Thanksgiving and the holiday season ahead. However, this week I have been doing videos inspired by our national election season slash dumpster fire. It is the day after election day. I've been doing more do-it-yourself and tutorial videos lately, and so I figured that this would be a perfect time to do that and give the people what they want, a drink. So today I'm making cocktails inspired by the 2016 election season slash dumpster fire. Enjoy! All right, our first drink is real simple. It's just a beer, probably domestic, definitely patriotic, and also possibly seasonally appropriate. Grab yourself a glass to go along with it. You're gonna open the beer and then real simple, just pour it right into the glass. Make sure it is only half empty or half full, depending on your political affiliation. And there you have it, ale to the chief. Our next drink is wine-based using red, white, and rosé. Take all three and pour each into a glass just like this. There you go. Give it a swirl and then set it aside. Next thing you're going to need are some Fruit Loops. Take the Fruit Loops and pour them into a Ziploc bag. Make sure that you seal the bag really well and then you're just going to beat them into a nice fine dust. Next, get two shallow dishes just like these right here. Take a little bit of fireball and put it in the bottom of one of those dishes and then put your Fruit Loops in the other one just like this. Then get your fancy cocktail glass and just dip it right in that fireball just like so and then put it in the Fruit Loops just like this. Now you're ready to serve that cocktail. Pour that wine concoction right in there just like that. Barely palatable with a Fruit Loop fringe. It's Grand Old Punch also known as GOP. This next drink is really complicated, has a ton of ingredients, it takes a really, really long time to make, and really the only way you can effectively make this drink is if you have a lot of experience. But nobody really cares about that. The name of this one is I'm With Cider. Let's bring back an old friend. You're just gonna need a shot glass for this one and that little dish you had before, a little more fireball, not too much, don't wanna waste it. And then, you know the drill, you're just gonna move that around just like that. Now we have some fake cheese dust. So, oh, did you guys hear that? Ugh, gross. All right, so we're just gonna get a real good coating of that fake cheese dust on there, nice and thick. Put your fireball in there just like that and that shot's called a hot mic. And our final drink is a play on the classic White Russian, only I'm calling it the White House Russian. You start with a glass of ice, add in a little vodka, and then you can put in some Kahlua. Notice how I found this little bottle, perfect for bartenders with tiny hands. Okay, and then you just put it in just like that. Now normally, White Russians require milk or cream, but all I had was this coconut creamer I got from Trader Joe's. But life is like that sometimes, so we just pour it on in, and shake it up a little bit, and there you have it, a White House Russian that will make anyone say, what did you put in here? I feel proud of the work I do. If you enjoyed this video in any way, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Kate Well Chauffeur, and I am just going to keep making videos. See you next time. Hey, <laughs> hello!